welcome back to the channel everyone so i had a few questions in the comments on my previous vi videos about how you would get your bike ready for winter you can saw it for six months keep it insured and tuck it away for winter but there are a few key things you should do to your bike prior to putting it away for storage so i'm going to go through a list this is going to be one of those quick fire top fives talk about some of the most obvious things if there's things i've forgotten or missed feel free to drop them down in the comments and, and we can all take a look at that after but let's dive in. Okay, so number one is getting your bike off the ground. And the reason for this is if it's left on the tires on a hard surface for three or four months, the tires can distort and you'll get vibration if, if it's distorted enough and when you take the bike out. Um, there are a couple of ways to do that. The most simple way, so I'll start from most simple, move up to, to more complicated. Put the bike on a carpet. Um, I've got a single layer carpet here, but we could move up to double layer carpet just to provide a bit of cushioning for the tire. You can also over inflate the tires so we can increase the PSI just to reduce the chance of distortion. Or as you can see on the Daytona here, we can put it on haddock stands, take the, the tire off the ground completely. You could also use a front paddock stand and some people would even say, use a stand that supports the bike on the top yoke so the forks aren't compressed for the duration of the winter. Okay, so that's number one, get the bike off the ground. The second thing that we need to talk about is removing the fuel from the bike. Now, it used to be the case that people would argue, do you leave fuel in the bike because it prevents rust inside the tank? And there was an argument back and forth. However, with the new E10 fuels, what's happened is the government has stipulated that there must be 10% ethanol or alcohol, it's the same word for interchangeable things alcohol content of the fuel and alcohol or ethanol is hydroscopic so it's going to uh, pull in water and that means parts of the fuel system that were never designed to be exposed to water are now at risk of, of having contamination so i would now say drain the tank and so obviously you've got fuel containers made of plastic and the traditional hose pipe to siphon out fuel or you can use a pump which is a lot easier than getting a mouthful of petrol the other thing is that most bikes are uh, old in the UK, so the average age of a UK bike is 14.7 years, whereas on the new bikes it says uh, petrol uh, type of fuel E10 is, is compatible. With an older bike, and especially a bike like this with a plastic tank, uh, which could become distorted by the ethanol, should the ethanol and, and petrol actually um, separate over a period, you're at risk so definitely remove the fuel um, if you're storing the bike for winter okay so number three what you should do is cover the bike up as well to prevent dust and um, debris grit getting on the bike so here you can see i borrowed one of susie's picnic blankets which hopefully we won't be needing for winter just cover the bike up and then you'll avoid getting dust and grit on it you should have cleaned the bike thoroughly before it went into storage and then you'll have a nice clean bike come spring one thing i would say if you have got any damp at all in your garage uh, or storage that's pretty tricky to work around but i wouldn't cover the bike so i've covered things before and then you whip off the cover device and if it's not breathable you'll find the bike actually soaked saturated i think that's worse than letting air flow in that kind of situation Another thing you can do uh, when it comes to covering and protecting the bike with uh, soft blankets and cloths, use these to block up your air holes um, just so you don't get a mouse making a nest in your air intake. And obviously if you turn the ignition on in March, that mouse is going to have a very quick ending and your inlet manifold wouldn't f thank you either. So we've got also put one in the exhaust as well, probably to stop condensation um, in that case. Okay, so moving on, number four on the list of things is to either connect a trickle charger or disconnect the battery completely. So I'd probably go for the disconnect in the battery. Um, if you want to take the bike out maybe once or twice, then obviously the trickle charger is easier so you don't have to get your tools out and then reconnect the battery. As soon as this is a track bike, we won't be using this until March, April time, so the battery will be fully disconnected. One final thing, um, the fifth thing on the list is to spray prone to corrosion parts with some kind of lubricant or sealant. So people have talked about wax oil or ACF 50 
for my example i've just got some common uh, garage sprays so actually that's not wd-40 that's chain wax but the wd-40 that you can buy as a lubricant could be used you've got silicone spray or oil spray and then old-fashioned uh, grease here people will argue which lubricant you should use but anything exposed like bolts uh, little clips on the brake hoses things that are prone to rust just give them a quick squirt uh, maybe squirt the chain as well lube the, the chain fully before the bike goes away and then you're much less likely to get deterioration or, or corrosion on those parts okay guys so thanks for listening just a quick fly through on the things you can do to winterize your bike for the colder months um, if you did like the content then please do give us a like and if you really like what we're putting out on the channel then please do consider subscribing and you'll be notified if we put out future or when we put out future videos all right thanks a lot for listening guys and i'll catch you in the next one